The Iranian armed forces have unveiled 10 locally upgraded missile defense systems and military products with high capabilities, which are able to engage and destroy enemy military equipment during ground combat operations. The military achievements were showcased on Sunday during a ceremony attended by Iran's Defense Minister Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Ashtiani, a number of other high-ranking military officials, and experts from the Defense Industries Organization. The ceremony coincided with celebrations in Iran commemorating the 43rd anniversary of the 1979 Islamic Revolution, which overthrew the U.S.-backed Pahlavi regime. The unveiled defense systems included various types of stationary missiles, helicopter-mounted and drone-mounted payloads, as well as long-range and smart ammunition for artillery and mortars, whose range and accuracy in destroying targets have been improved. Moreover, the Iranian Defense Ministry has started mass production of homegrown Aras 3 High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicle HMMWV. One of the determining factors concerning enhancement of defense capability of the armed forces is the use of efficient systems, products and equipment to confront enemy threats, especially on the battleground. On-ground changes, therefore, require appropriate tools to be dealt with. It is necessary to upgrade military capabilities in order to protect and safeguard the country and the nation, Ashtiani said. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made substantial headways in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in the arms sphere. Iranian officials have repeatedly underscored that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities, including its missile power, which are entirely meant for defense, and that Iran's defense capabilities will be never subject to negotiations. Leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei has repeatedly called for efforts to maintain and boost Iran's defense capabilities, hitting back at the enemies for disputing the country's missile program. Iran's Army Ground Force Forms Missile Unit. Also on Sunday, the commander of the Iranian Army's Ground Force Brigadier General Qayyamur Zadari announced formation of a missile unit within his force. He also unveiled plans to upgrade the ground forces equipment and introduce new gear suitable for rapid reaction operations. The commander noted that the Army Ground Force has focused efforts on the development of automated and smart ordnance capable of hitting targets at long distances with pinpoint accuracy. Moreover, the new ballistic missile enjoys considerable agility and high velocity when hitting its targets. The Islamic Republic of Iran is consistently improving its missile capabilities to counter aggressors, oppressors, global arrogance as well as murderous Zionists, Bagheri said during the ceremony, emphasizing that the Islamic Republic will continue the trend both quantitatively and qualitatively. He highlighted that enemies would not have cared about ethics, humanitarian principles, human rights and widespread condemnation if they could obtain anything other than huge costs and losses out of aggression on Iran. Bagheri also hailed the dynamic deterrent power of the Iranian armed forces, saying the country is expanding both its inventory of military hardware and human resources. A Pentagon study has recently acknowledged Iran's missile power, saying its arsenal is larger than that of any other Middle Eastern country. Iran has an extensive missile development program, and the size and sophistication of its missile force continue to grow despite decades of counterproliferation efforts aimed at curbing its advancement, it said. Despite decades of Washington-imposed sanctions, Iran has made great achievements in its ballistic missiles program. Last month, an American political analyst said Iran's missile program has disrupted the strategic military calculations of the United States in the Middle East, altering the balance of power in a region where Washington has long sought to maintain a military edge. 
The U.S. fears Iran is upsetting the hitherto American-enforced regional balance of power whereby Washington and its allies were supposed to have a decisive military advantage over the Islamic Republic, Andrew Kuriko, a Moscow-based American political commentator, told Press TV.